It's pretty surreal and it hasn't completely settled in yet. And the new Maryland Dove makes her way home to historic St. Mary's City. Watching her sail sends chills on an otherwise warm day. The ship, which was built as an educational vessel to tell the story of the first colonists, was saluted by more than 50 boats. With $5 billion in state funds, it replaces the first recreation of the Dove, which is more than 40 years old. I think it's going to be a great rendition for the uh, St. Mary City to have. Captain Matt Bowen grew up here on the St. Mary's River. He took Bay Bulletin out on his dad's old fishing charter. Beautiful. How, how did so many people get here on such a small vessel across the Atlantic? People lined up to watch from the shore as she made her way home to historic St. Mary City. We had the honor of telling the story along the way. The construction in St. Michael's at Chesapeake Bay Maritime Museum that continued through the pandemic and seeing her make her first splash back in March. The lead shipwright and lead rigger traveled to Europe to get closer to historical accuracy. Huge exhale, you know, it's like three and a half years of uh, pretty extreme dedication. It's a more historically accurate rig, it's a more unique rig to that time period, and it's a rig that um, no one has really had experience sailing before, so that's pretty exciting. They also had a hand in building the Edna E. Lockwood at the museum, which helped to escort in the Dove. Ecstatic, relieved, um, looking towards the future. Peter Friesen leads the educational programs. We'll be able to tell stories that we have never been able to tell before with a ship that's a bit more accurate to what we think the Dove of 1634 would have looked like. We know based off of the historic record that the original Dove had a crew of seven, the Dove from 1978 has to have a crew of nine. So there's no way that crew in the 1600s would have been able to sail that ship. She is a two-masted ship. The old one had three masts. And we have a vessel that I think for me, one of the most exciting things is accessible. It, we have an ADA compliant ship where, where people we can get people on the main deck with our, our new gangway. You can see the difference with the old ship, which has no final plans for its future. After a prayer, we stand here on land once trod by Maryland's first pilgrims, embarking on this noble and glorious adventure. And a presentation of flags for the new ship. In a way, we hated to see it go, but we could not be more elated today to see it here where it rightfully belongs. The cannon fired, and the public was welcomed on for the first time. This is why we need a new one. All right, a lot of the ship looks like this. It's 44 years old. The new ship does have comforts that weren't afforded in early 17th century. Space up forward behind this Dutch door where this gentleman is standing is the, uh, it's currently our ship's galley. It's very nice. We have a built-in galley. We have a refrigerator in there. We've got a cooktop. We've got counter space, a sink. It's pretty nice. 17th century, that space would have been the bosun's locker. Under sails meant to look like 1634, the quarter deck where the ship is operated has a compass and modern day GPS, but the new Dove will primarily stay at the dock for now. He's tiller steered. This big stick is how we steer. Ship's wheels don't exist yet. Ship's wheels uh, early 18th century, 1703. So all ships in our time frame would be hand tillered. People don't um, realize how fabulous this was as a stepping ground from the old country. I mean, we were first. We were first down here. I just like that they're going to preserve history. She will be part of the celebration in Maryland as we get closer to marking our 400th anniversary. For Chesapeake Bay Media's Bay Bulletin, I'm Cheryl Costello.